Welcome to an episode of No Script News. And waking up this morning to my morning brew, I came across some pretty good news, so I decided to make this video. Now, I was strolling through Twitter, looking at all the quarters, and I found this. An image of a limited edition Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox controller. Twatter, Lebobinus, 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 Lebobins, Lebobins, ah, Lebobins. Twatter Lebobins uh, found a listing for Cyberpunk 2077 controller at Amazon and for the release date to be May 4th, but there's no pre orders yet. Now, when you go to the actual site, which I did obviously because I was going to pre-order that shit right now, um, you go to a, you find a sorry, uh, not found page, which is um, proof that it was there in the first place, and kind of proof that it exists. Now, it being coming out on May 4th is kind of... See, what, this is what I think happened. I think is that's when the original game was gonna come out, but then it got delayed till uh, later on this year. And so I think the controller was gonna come out with it or during the same time frame. And so it was already automated um, in their system to just pop up on this day for pre-orders. Uh, but I guess they forgot to put the delay button on it, just like they did on the games, or. Because I, I, other than that, I don't know why they would post this up prematurely. Um, but it was there. And it looks sexy. If you look at the controller more closely, you see the Arasaka emblem. That is a corporation, a mega corporation in Cyberpunk, 20, in Cyberpunk world. And it's actually a corporation that goes to war with Johnny Silverhands and over his girlfriend um, Alt Cunningham and the creation of the Soul Killer program. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what that rig XT7 Pro means. Um, the No Future, obviously that's engraved in the elevator in one of the uh, trailers that was released. It could be it, it looks cool. If it is it, I'm gonna get it. And I want you guys to see it firsthand. The rumored Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox X controller, actually. Um, but we'll see. And speaking of Xbox, they have released their coming soon games for Game Pass. And there's a couple of good ones there that I want to talk about. First is Gato Roboto. Now that's a little Metroid mate, Metroid Bania again. Now I bought that for the Nintendo Switch. I have a little mini review on it too if you want to take a look at that video. Um, pretty much it's a Metroidvania game where you play as a little kitten or cat um, who gets in a mech suit and has to pretty much save the day. Because when your ship crash landed on this strange planet, um, your master, owner, uh, is caught up in the ship and can't get out so it's up to the kitty to save the day now I haven't passed it completely um, I was saving it for a rainy day and so I might as well get to it now since I don't really have much to play um, but it's actually a good game and I would recommend picking it up especially on game Pass. it's free and another game they have on there coming out is the long dark now that is a survival game pretty much you crash land in Canada and you're out there in the wilderness and you don't really have anything. So you started, you gotta go gather sticks and brush and whatever to go create a fire then try to find some shelter and hope that there's actually some cool stuff in that shelter for you to get a head start. But you pretty much just have to survive. And it tracks your survival days and you know, you have to get water, you have to get all this other stuff, but you gradually build to that. But there's also a sense of urgency. You just can't be laying around because you still have to eat. You still have to use your water. You still have to use your supplies. So if you don't go gather supplies or have a source of supplies, then pretty much you're going to starve to death. So you have to go out there and bear the elements. Sometimes there's bears. Sometimes there's um, wolves. I mean, and that was just the base game when I first got it. Now, they included a whole new story mode and 
different areas to explore so it's like a whole full-fledged game and if you haven't played it i recommend you do i swear you'll get sucked in i did i'm gonna go play it right now see i gotta go play this and got to robot oh my god man so much shit to do i ain't got no time for it i gotta drink my coffee see that's why i like this setup here because i like to like hang out talk to you guys when i was with the, with the when I was talking about the green screen, I just felt like it had to be too uh, professional, too overproduced. And it's like, come on, man, I just want to wake up, read the news, talk to you about it because it excites me. What doesn't excite me is the rest of the games on this coming soon for Game Pass, which is Deliver Us to the Moon, Deliver Us the Moon, Level Head, and Hyper Dot. Now, I really don't know anything about these games. They're a bunch of indie games, I assume. Deliver us to the moon. Looks a little interesting. The other two look like puzzle type games that I probably wouldn't play. Um, but I might just check them out just to get some gameplay of them. Who knows? Showed in the background. Probably not. I'm not type of shit. Um, but I definitely recommend the first two Gato Robato and The Long Dark. And I'm gonna leave you off with some crazy news that I found out the other day when I was waking up to my brew rats are going to war in new york why because there's no food for them no one's out there in public no one's throwing their pizzas on the floor no one's littering defecating everywhere providing food for these rats so they gotta do what they gotta do and it turns out they're going to war against each other to the life and death the loser gets eaten. Different gangs and gangs of rats is going at it rumble style. Like back in the day, warriors come out to play. That's the world we live in now, guys. There's no food for the rats in New York. There's no food for the monkeys in Thailand. This goes to show that gangs are just natural part of life. All these people try to talk them down. Fuck that shit, man. Represent your hood. It's only natural. And that's gonna do it for this episode of No Script News. I woke up, found some great news about the Cyberpunk 2077 controller. I really hope it's true, man. But that shit looks sexy yet. We got some new Game Pass games coming out. Not a bad day in news, man. Except for those damn rats. Poor rats. As long as they have like a big old Debo rat, like big old enforcer rats, they're on the front lines. And you kind of have like the nerdy rats in the back, you know, throwing, throwing little contraptions, little, I don't know what kind of rat weapons they have. But they're the scientists, you know? Little brainiacs in the back. Then you have all the girl rats. Just talking smack. Hey, look at your teeth. Look at your whiskers. That's going to do it for this episode of No Script News. Remember, guys, when shit hits a fan, run. <laughs>